Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. I actually had to come back in the daytime with Charles to help me find my video recorder, which I did find because of Charles. So, actually, Charles is going to give us some history. So, here we go. Hi. I'll give you like a real quick Cliff Notes version of the history. There used to be a church right over there um, where that nice clearing was, but the church burned down in the 1960s. And this place is notorious for having cars go by the minute you turn the camera on. <laughs> um, the first two ministers to, to preach at the church were the cooks. But then the most famous one, his name is Abner Ballou. And then his family lineage kind of continued on with the church. And they were like right wing as right wing could get. And another history thing is that supposedly over the field and towards in that direction, uh, UFOs were sighted, and there's supposedly pictures of, I've seen the pictures, of uh, being taken of it. Um, and there was also the one of uh, Abner Ballou's granddaughter, Harriet, her tombstone being stolen back in the 80s. It was retrieved, I think it was in New York, and it was placed back up there, so it was back up there. Now. Which we found because I couldn't find it last night. But I knew where it was. <laughs> And I'll tell you about some three instances of, uh, a couple instances of ghosts. This Elder Ballou, as the cars go by, was the very first place I caught my EVP on top of the hill. And if it's saying hello. Also, while I was here one time, about, I stood right here, and I looked up over where the trees were, about well, up on the hill, I saw a shadow person standing there. And then, over here, I love telling stories. Um, this was when the first time we came here, we were staying here, me and our friend Steve. It was one thing, it was about negative 50 out, it was freezing. And as we were here, we all of a sudden heard a, a, a voice go, <gasps> by a male voice. And boy, we were like, what the hell was that? And also too, when I was here one time doing an investigation, along the trails that go all the way in the back, we, we call it the walker. We caught an EMF field with the EMF readers, of course, that seemed to be actually be walking along a trail. It started up there and then it actually moved all the way down the trail until it disappeared. So we call, we nicknamed it the walker. We think it might be a cemetery caregiver or something like that, but we don't, we really have not been able to figure out who the walker was. And that's my Cliff Notes version of history. I thank you, my child. Thank you. And they had they picked up some of the best EVPs I've ever gotten from this area. Plus, I want to share with you a possible shadow person caught on tape from one of my second time here, and an possible EVP. Make up your own decision about it, where it's not. But fortunately, beautiful sky, beautiful field, no Harold Trudell aliens. But I thought you might be kind of cool to mention them. Now here's a video of a possible shadow person. Cumberland. Yeah, it is Cumberland. Right on the board. But it's Woonsocket! Cumberland. Woonsocket. Cumberland. But why would they, why did all these people online keep saying... Now let me point out two things for you. Over to the far right, near the road, there's a shadowy figure right by the road. I really do not remember anyone walking on the road. Also, more towards the left, by one of the tombstones, it appears to be like this white figure. Um, it might be a tombstone, but at times it looks like it's peeking out from behind the tombstone. Now, we're going to continue the rest of the video, and I want to show you something else. And, and everything that this is actually Woonsocket. Because they're probably crackheads. Well, does it really matter if it's Woonsocket or Cumberland? No, because right on the border anyway. Yeah, and who's really got to come here? Who's really got to come to Woonsocket? You and me. Well, that's because you live here. No, well, I like it here. I don't know why. Okay, let's take a look again. As you can see, the shadow figure hasn't moved. So if it was a walker, well, why hasn't it moved? You also got to take in the fact that what kind of road it is and what the season it was, I can't figure out why anyone would be walking along that road. But like I said, I really don't remember if anyone was walking. And also the white figure that looks like it's pointing out from behind the tombstone, uh, it's still there, so I have a feeling it most likely is a tombstone, but I will go back there and check. And so now I'd like to close by thanking Fran and John of Price Paranormal for uh, pointing this out for me.
Now, this is the evidence that we caught. Similar to the evidence that Charles and Stephen caught, CPR 2009, with the shower person. Now, this is a person. It looks like a person behind the gravestone in the middle of the red circle. It looks like it has a tie in the center of it, the white tie, and a candle on top of his head. Now, back in the olden days, they had a church at Elder Blue, and there were priests and minister, or whatever they called them back in the day. So it could be a person going to church, or it could not be. But right now, we are ruling it, and we're going to rule it as not paranormal, because we don't know. We can't figure out what it is. We can't, we're not going to say. So, But you guys can look at it and, you know, tell us what you think. The, the number one thing about this graveyard that's really great is when Charles and Stephen did it, they did it in the daytime. Now, I came back when I had to recover my recorder from the next day to find it, and I actually took pictures in the daytime. So, and I caught something. So it's very good, and it's crazy that this graveyard, you can catch a lot of stuff during the daytime, too. And don't have to be necessary in nighttime. So, this is our evidence. Look at it, comment on it, let us know what you think. Okay, we found Harriet. Here she is. Couldn't look for her last night, but... I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably can't, but that's Harriet right there. Her tombstone was stolen before. Either New York or... It was New York or Connecticut that New, found it. New York or Connecticut. So, here's Harriet. She is.